Kapani said the Namibia Green Hydrogen Program will work with the Maritime Directorate to develop a national action plan on decarbonization. And when you really combine the port uh, portfolio of all these um, investments, it will really establish the Wolbish Bay as a preferred port of call for any ships that are looking to use green ammonia as a shipping fuel. Now, in July of 2023, the International Maritime Organization, which is responsible for regulating the world's maritime industry, adopted a new strategy to reduce GHG emissions from ships. Research also shows that green ammonia as a bunker in fuel um, will see demand um, of 2.3 million metric tons per year in 2030, with that tripling to more than 60 million by the year 2040. And bunkering clean um, shipping fuels presents a unique opportunity for Namibia to cement itself as a preferred logistic hub in the region. Kapani said the Namibia Green Hydrogen Program strives to engage communities, stakeholders and counterparts early to ensure alignment with community and industry needs and foster transparency and inclusivity. For us as a program to engage these stakeholders as early in the process to ensure complete inclusivity and to capture a wide range of perspectives. We aim to ensure alignment with community and industry needs and also really give them the chance for their voices to be heard very early on in the process so they can feel their, their, perspectives, their perspectives are taken into account and of course the development of these projects, key projects, will benefit their communities as well. The 2030 International Maritime Organization Strategy aims to achieve net zero emissions from ships by 2050, integrating a sustainable growth model in ports like Valfus Bay.